Hey guys, so this is the truck that we're gonna get a box from. It's bringing a bunch of car parts. Hi. Are you, are you recording? Yes. All right, good, good. This is so exciting. First, okay, I'm getting, well, hi. I forgot to say. Madison, say hi, YouTubers. I'll show you where I can put it. Put it down here, or I might put it over there, over here. You can put it right down there. That's kind of trouble places. Yeah, that'll work. I'll swing it right in. Wow, that's a big box. Yeah, it is. All right, guys, just got home from work and looks like we got a delivery today, so let's go check it out. Let's tear into this bad boy. guys i don't know if you could tell how excited i am but i am super stoked that this thing is finally here we've been waiting about two months for this to show up and if you didn't get the hint by the box this is a curry enterprises ford nine inch style rear end so i went with a custom rear end for this car 11 inch drum brakes 31 spline axles and a 370 gear in it right now this is huge for Project Narcolepsy Nova here. Because now that this is finally here, we can start taking apart everything on the back half of this car. Leaf springs, put on the Caltrack bars, subframe connectors, new stainless steel brake lines for this. Hello? What are you guys doing? We need something from in the basement so we can make the cardboard box. Oh. We got what we needed. Now that this is here, we're going to start tearing apart the car. The next time you see it, we'll be taking this 10 bolt out. Sunday morning here. We're gonna get started on taking this 10 bolt out so that we can get the nine inch in here. While the wife and kids are away, we're gonna see how far we can get, how much we can get done, and that's pretty much it. So let's get started.
So a neat little trick for getting these emergency brake cables out of the backing plate is to find a you know box end wrench that fits over it just right. And then by forcing the, the box end wrench against the base of the you know the backing plate, it squeezes those tongs on the emergency brake cable so that you can sneak it out the back. Because the emergency brake cables and the emergency brake system on this works, uh, I don't want to replace any of it because it's just unnecessary stuff that we don't need to replace. Yeah, so we have a new brake line that's going to be going on, but I'm not replacing emergency brake cables. So there's a neat trick on how to get that removed out of the back here. Had to get some coffee. All this tedious little stuff taking a bunch of time, like taking, you know, being careful to take the shiny shocks out and disconnecting brakes. And, but uh, we're we're actually, we're almost there. We're just getting ready to disconnect the brake line. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I wanna disconnect the brake line right here so I could take the rubber brake line, or brake hose rather, off with the rear so that I can leave the brake line intact on the 10 bolt and just take this whole thing out as a unit. So once we get the brake line off, we're gonna drop this whole front leaf spring. I don't know what you would call this basket, whatever, this leaf spring mount. The whole mount's gonna come down. We have new hangers, so this is, we're gonna take that top bolt out of here and drop this whole thing as an assembly with the leaf springs. And then, I don't know, just, Wheel it right out the garage door. Boy, how do I get to you? Come here, my friend. Just undercoat over everything. It'll be fine. You're going to replace it. You just won't be able to see nothing while you try to take it apart. Ah! Of course, this stuff's like... Ah! That's in my mouth. Be good to me. Ouch! Look at that jack there. If you really liked me, you would just pop right off. Don't turn the brake line. Come on. Oh, you're gonna be like that. Alright, do the right thing. Just come off. Come on! Ah! Um. Oh, I don't want to take that one off. All right, so that rubber brake hose wouldn't come off. I couldn't get it disconnected at where the fuel line meets up with that brake hose. So what we did was we took the brake hose off at the rear. So the brake hose is going to stay on the car. Or the rear is going to come out of the car. We're going to have to change that hose at some point. Un unfortunately, I was going to try and save as much of this brake system as I could. But I think I actually, I know I'm the one who ruined that fitting. All of the connections that are on the rear end if you remember from the, the video of us undercoating it, all those connections were not undercoated on the rear end and they, they came right off. They just broke right loose. The fitting that I've been trying to get off, it has that undercoating on it. No matter how hard I try, that stuff is super tough and I'm not really able to get it off the fittings. We're just kind of starting to round that bolt off. It's a mess. So chances are that's going to have to get cut off, but Anyway, we're gonna start taking these bolts out of the, the floor and the rear frame rails and start getting hopefully this rear out soon.
All right, so here's the rear leaf spring hanger. As you can see, the one that we have to get out is this top one because we have new hangers and these bushings are shot anyway. But one of the hardest parts about this is nothing fits. You can't get a socket between the molding of the floor, you know, the trunk pan and on there to use like an impact gun or even a ratchet. The only thing that I found that works is uh, putting a, a wrench on there and then doing the super sketchy, you know, hook a wrench on a wrench, get as much torque as you can and break that off. On that side, we got it done. And now to do this side. I didn't knock my teeth out, again. guys well the old rear is out now one thing that I've never seen before on a Nova is these springs these coil springs that somebody shoved on here so drop something down in the comments if you've ever seen this before this is something that was popular in the 70s and 80s putting a, a helper spring in here to compensate for your shot rear suspension uh, definitely something that I've never seen before she's bare there's definitely no turning back now. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for part one of the rear end swap. Uh, the next video that you'll see, we're going to start installing the 9-inch. So we'll see you next time.